My first customer was a tourist named Robert. He told me that if there was anything I needed or wanted, he would buy for me. I said okay. Later on, I went out with Japanese and Korean men. The sexual exploitation of children in travel and tourism has dramatically expanded across the globe. The huge growth in international and domestic travel has increased both the number of travelers and tourists and the number of children vulnerable to sexual exploitation. From my very first memories, I remember being sexually molested and raped by truck drivers. I grew up along the interstate that goes all across the United States, and there were truckers all along it. And the spread of the internet and mobile technology has made virtually no place out of the reach of the predators of this heinous crime. Any child can become a victim, but children who become vulnerable are likely to be forced into prostitution at travel and tourist hubs. I went to where all the gay bars are in Pattaya. Foreigners would check with me, buy me drinks, and then take me somewhere for business. I was given drugs or forced to drink, and I was taken to the truck stop. They are contacted and groomed by pimps or perpetrators, either in person or via the internet. They may even be trafficked by family members. The way it was all presented to me was only special little girls get to go to adult parties, have sex, you know, like big girls. And so I just thought this is what happened. There is no such thing as a typical child sex offender, although they are usually male. Some may be pedophiles, but most are not. They may be foreign or domestic, young or old. They are from all over the world. They sexually abuse children because they think they can get away with it. There's very much this sense of nothing's going to happen to me. I believe there's a sense of entitlement. There's a sense of a right to it. Many victims are too afraid or ashamed to speak up about being abused, and witnesses seldom report, creating a sense of freedom from any legal repercussions in the minds of the offenders. And gaps and conflicts in law enforcement leave exploited children betrayed by the world as the offenders walk away from their crimes, searching for the next child to violate. The impact of sexual exploitation on a child cannot be overstated. For victims, the legacy can include severe and lifelong physical, emotional, and psychological damage. I don't like what happened to me, and I don't want to remember it. I want other children who have been victims or will become one to know my story and learn from it. As our world becomes smaller through increased travel and the internet, we all have a role to play. Governments, organizations, law enforcement, as well as you and me, in protecting children from this horrific abuse by travelers and tourists. It takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a village to abuse a child. So much of this happens in public spaces, and that's really what it takes, speaking up. We all have that voice, and we can use our voices.